Hello, Genesis pastors and churches. I'm Superintendent Pam Bremen. I've been getting questions about whether or not we're still requiring masks and other COVID-19 protocols in our churches. And the short answer is yes, our protocols are all still in place. I want to explain why with both a story and then scripture. The story I'm calling A Tale of Two Churches. This is a true story of two churches in our region. One is a free Methodist church, one happens to be a Baptist church. The Baptist church had a masks optional policy. They're quoted as saying that they're trusting God to protect them. In September, starting with a cluster of five people who had COVID, this church has been the center of an outbreak where over 70 people have gotten sick and at least two have died. The spread of the disease has gone throughout the community. The result of this is that this area was the first one in our region to go into the orange zone, meaning that gyms, hairdressers, and more had to close. Restaurants are back to takeout. Schools are closed, impacting parents who can't leave their kids to go to work. One of our pastors who is in the town next to this Baptist church said to me, the community is so angry with this church and they'll never recover. The community sees this church as, as selfish and not caring about the community. Let me repeat that. The community sees the church as selfish and not caring about the community. That's certainly a far cry from love your neighbor as yourself. The second church in this true story is a free Methodist church, and I have per their permission to share this story. A few weeks ago, I got a call from a lead pastor who told me that two staff members, a married couple, had been sick and had tested positive for COVID. To make matters worse, the Saturday before that had been a funeral where both of these staff members had been. And on Sunday morning, one of them had preached. And on Sunday afternoon, they had attended a wedding at the church. This was not the kind of call I wanted. I asked the pastor, have you been following our protocols? Is everyone wearing masks? Are you staying socially distanced? Are you using your hand sanitizer? Are you making sure there's no food in these gatherings? And he said, yep, we have been following our protocols carefully. And I said, well, we will pray and this will be a test to see if our protocols work. So of course we pray. But I know that the Baptist church was praying as well. And the difference between these two churches were what COVID-19 protocols were followed. It's a few weeks later, and I'm happy to report that there was no spread of COVID related to any of our Free Methodist Church gatherings. So that church will be able to continue to witness to their community. I've heard people say, well, you know, we shouldn't be afraid of COVID, and I agree. It's not out of fear that I don't shake your hand, and it's not out of fear that I require our churches to require masks and stay socially distanced. It's out of care and concern for our communities. I don't want one of our churches to be responsible for the death of someone's mother, father, sister, brother, child. I don't want any of our churches to be responsible for overwhelming the healthcare system in our communities. I certainly don't want any of our churches to be the place where disease spreads and ends up taking the life of people who don't yet know Jesus. I hope you aren't afraid of COVID, but I hope that lack of fear has led you to volunteer to shop for the vulnerable or, or clean the church or, or give financially in the midst of an uncertain future. Wearing a mask is not a sign of fear. It's a sign of loving your neighbor as yourself. So that's a tale of two churches. That's my story. My scripture is this. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, it's Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus says this, If anyone forces you to go one mile with them, go two miles. So this is actually where we get the phrase, go the extra mile. But what is Jesus talking about? In Roman times, Roman soldiers carried heavy packs. The average weight for a pack is estimated to be around 44 pounds. And these soldiers were allowed to demand that someone else carry their pack for a whole mile. The person chosen by the soldier would have to drop their own load, drop what they were doing, and carry that pack for a mile. And so I could understand people feeling that this requirement of the government was unfair. And I can just imagine people saying to Jesus, what do we do with this unfair regulation, Jesus? It interrupts our day. It's against our freedoms. But Jesus says, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Now, personally, I believe that our mask mandate arises out of our government's desire to protect people. But even if I didn't, these words of Jesus tell me to go the extra mile. We're called to be people who care, who love our neighbors as ourselves, who protect and who go the extra mile. I want to thank our churches, our pastors, our members for wearing masks, for staying socially distanced, for cleaning, for reaching out to the vulnerable during this time. I'm proud of you. Thank you for being people who love, protect, and go the extra mile. 
Let's keep doing it.